Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today, yes, I'm going to make a video on it, I'm going to talk about it, the uh, Unite DB, like, meta report, the win rate, popularity, build win rate of the characters, I, I wasn't originally going to make a video about this, I, I shared my thoughts on stream a little bit, but let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit, I don't think this is going to be too long, I'm going to read through them, and then I'm going to kind of give my, um, my thoughts on it all, so... I'm debating when I want to say the big ticket point. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at some of these. So, I guess this is probably ordered, right? Based on win percentage, maybe, maybe not, or it's um, yeah, okay. So let's start at the bottom. Decidueye. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just look at the base, the base information, like win percentage, popularity, build win rate. Um, so you know, win percentage, forty five percent. That's really, really low. I mean, essentially, you're seeing a lot of these characters um, that have really low win percentages, and um, you know, popularity is a cool thing to look at. I think that's uh, probably the most important thing that we can look at here. And then build win rate, which I think the build win rate would be completely factored into um, the abilities and the eject button, or like the you know the abilities and the battle item. So that's like the overall build. That's what's being considered a build win rate. And then you can look at the win rates. So I'm not really going to pay attention to this too much. Let's go on ahead and look at it really quickly. So we have uh, Razor Leaf Shadow Snake, Pursuit Sucker Punch, Flail Yawn, Sludge Bomb Hex, um, you know, Earth Build with Potion. Um, you have Scald Amnesia with X Speed. You have Spark Discharge with Fluffy Tail, Helping Hand Safeguard with Potion. Blaze Kick, Faint with Eject Button, uh, Powered Up Punch, Close Combat with Eject Button, Moon Blast, Future Sight with X Attack. Look, I'm going to get it out of the way. I thought I was going to take my time and read through them. This information is bullshit. Um, I, like, <laughs> this information means nothing. I think that this kind of information, this is basically my entire thoughts on, on this whole thing. This kind of information is valuable. But in Pokemon Unite, and with the way that the game runs, this page and these numbers, it's basically all nonsensical and it's, it's, it's useless. Now let me explain why, because that's probably incredibly shocking. Well, what the hell? What does that mean? There's only one thing on here that I think that you can take a look at and pull some information, and that's popularity. I think that looking at the popularity is fine. And you can kind of, and I mean kind of, and it's it's not even conclusive in my opinion, extrapolate strength from the win rate, but not really. Now, we can't use this to create a tier list. That doesn't make sense. Because you have a popularity of 33.93% on Norlax with a less than 50% win rate, but people are playing Flail Yawn, and the build win rate is fifty-two percent. But what items are this? What are what items are these players playing? Um, you know, like what 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 rank and masters are they? What percentage win rate do those players have? So from my understanding, they took like a hundred and ten thousand games, and they basically um, organized the data and pulled these like analytics, right? But the problem is that. And I think that this is, there's, there's no context in this. The problem is that we have a game that has some of the worst matchmaking I've ever seen. We have a game that has the highest rank of play with all skill levels. I mean all skill levels. Literally, like, I, I and I, I, it's just the truth. I see really, really bad players and masters in my games when I'm playing at like 2K, 1700, 1800, really bad players. We have a new website called Unite API where you can look players up and, you know, I don't even think it, it's like I'm not even trying to like shame people, but you can look players up and you can see that they're using bad items, you know, inefficient, um, inefficient anything. So you can you could you could find a player that's like 1600 1500 on unite api and you could see that they're using really bad item builds and so when you when you take these like percentages like this and you look at the win rate of the characters and the build win rate 
all of these percentages and all of this data is essentially non-contact, non, no context to the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that this data is basically like pulling data from standard matches that just happen to have a rank on it because that's kind of what ranked is. Like, look at the builds. Look at the builds and tell me that you can pull information out of this. We have the... We're supposed to rank Snorlax off of the data based on Flailion. Well, what items is this... Again, what items is this player playing? We have Dig... We have Ground Garchomp with Potion, and they, this is the data we get. We have Amnesia, or Scald Amnesia with X-Speed. Like, these builds are terrible. We have Powered Up Punch Close Combat. Again, no real good Lucario players are playing this. Like, not, like, really good Gar Lucario players. Even the Charizard build is literally wrong. Like, th these two these two abilities aren't even, the like, the good abilities. Um, Dazzling Gleam, Aurora Veil, like, most people started playing, or, like, most, like, top tier or, like, better um, players for Ninetales were playing Avalanche. And some of them are good, like, but but again, even still, like, looking at, like, Sylveon, right? Like, if we look at, like, Flame, fl uh, Fly, um, Fluffy Tail, like, I don't know any good Talon Flames that play Fluffy Tail. Uh, this build looks like actually like what a Sylveon would run, but we still don't know how much this is affected by who's playing the character, like, who's who's controlling these characters that are, that are having their games tracked in this, and uh, what items are they running. Also, the other thing about win percentage is that we also are extracting data in mirror matchup, um, like blind pick uh, statistics. We have games where you could have a Sylveon. I'm, I'm trying to think of the, the best way to explain how bad it could be. You could have a really good Sylveon player playing against a really good Sylveon player in the same match, and one's going to win and one's going to lose. So that kind of messes up the data. Or you could have a really good Sylveon player playing against a really bad Sylveon player, and the really good Sylveon player could lose to the really bad Sylveon player because of bad matchmaking, and maybe they couldn't carry hard enough, and like their team lost the game. So I think that my my problem with this kind of data is that you can't really look at it and see a whole lot of information. You can look and see a little bit. But looking at this, like, I wouldn't even do anything with it. I wouldn't do anything with this information at all. I would just kind of look at it and say, like, okay, like, that, it's cool. Like, I think what I can do here is that I can say it's cool that this is possible, that they can pull this kind of data and look at it. But I think it's almost entirely inconclusive. I, I just think that there's nothing that you can possibly do with it. So, um, that's kind of my thoughts. I feel like this is like a super bummer video, but I think that it's just important to to look at the reality of our situation. And again, there's some there's some data in here that you can extrapolate. Like I think it's important to to like look at like the Dragonite stuff. Like Dragonite popularity huge, the right skill sets, hell, it's using full heal, that's really good. Some of this has there's some like truth and and some some little glimmers of like what could be uh, important to understand in here. But most of it is not. And then if you look at something like this, which looks good, right? Like you look at the Dragonite like statistics, it looks good. I feel like I could almost trust this. And then you put it right next to Eldegoss with like Cotton Spore Potion. Like that's the most popular build that's being played. Like that's what like that's what we're looking at. Like it just doesn't it doesn't instill confidence in me to to look at these numbers and, and care about what they say because I don't think these numbers matter at all. So that's my thoughts. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, I think that the context and the, the big picture for Unite will always come down to how bad the matchmaking is and how we have like mirror matchups and things. Like data like this is just so skewed. It's incredibly skewed. And that sucks until until we get in like a future season where things are much more serious, like we have Pick ban phase if that ever happens. We have actually a good ranked mode in matchmaking if that ever happens. Um, I just don't think information like this is going to uh, to be very much of a of a resource to us. It just kind of exists because it exists. So, as always, friends, be sure to be kind to of one another. Tell someone that you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.